Hello, all of you. Uh, let us quickly understand how to take IFOA student membership. So uh, those who had given one paper, CM1 or CS1, as a non-member in the uh, April in the September 2023 attempt and want to take the student membership so that they can appear for the second paper in the month of April 2024 or the students who are appearing for two papers or just want to take membership uh, so that they can appear for exams in April 2024. So this video is for all of you. Um, I'll just quickly share my screen and I'll quickly uh, guide how you can proceed with the student membership. OK, so the very first thing is you need to you need to search for IFOA student membership. IFOA student membership. And when you search for IFOA student membership, the first link, you can open that up. Now, in the first link, it will take you to how to become a student member. They have given a lot of information over here, which you can go through. Just when you scroll down to the bottom of the page, we have the student membership application form. So you have to click on apply now. Let me quickly just um, brief you as to what they have mentioned over here. So. The exams will be happening in the month of April and the registrations for the same will open somewhere around in January mid. But you are supposed to take the membership prior to that. So those who are wanting to take the membership, please do that before December end because it is a three weeks process when you will make the payment and everything. It will take approximately two to three weeks for them to process your application. So it takes good amount of time so do it beforehand itself so that you are free and you can apply for the or register for the exam as a member right so it's extremely important that you all please uh re apply for the membership uh, way before the registration for the april attempt starts so do it by december end latest um how to fill the reduced rate subscription. I'll be guiding you all of these things. Now, the very first thing is that you have to create your account. So students who already have their account, uh, those who have appeared for one of the papers, CM1 or CS1, as a non-member, you will be having your ARN, email ID, and password. You will be using those to log in into your IFA portal and proceeding there from the for the membership. Those who do not have ARN or password with themselves, I will be guiding you how to do that. So just scroll down to the bottom of the page. And here you have my application. So you can click on this my application. And then you can click on this login or create account. I'm clicking on this login. You can click anyone. Let me say I don't have any ID password, any username password. I don't have it. And I want to create it from scratch because I haven't applied for any non-member. I did not sit for any non-member uh, exam of CM1 or CS1. So in that case, you will click on this Create Account button. For students who appeared for an exam and you have a ARN and password and a mail ID, you can put your mail ID over here. You can put your password and click on Login. Right. Um, those who don't have will click on this create account button. The moment you click on this, a registration form will open up. OK. It takes a few minutes. So for those who already have it there, I once you put your email ID and password for you guys, you will be redirected to the IFA uh, portal. I will be showing you that. So before this, you will have to give your title, whatever title you choose to, your first name, last name. Uh, this is, again, not very important. Uh, then you need to give your email ID, confirm your email ID, put a password, give a password confirmation. Make sure your password is minimum of eight characters. It needs to have one uppercase, lowercase, one numeric, and any of the special characters. Then you need to uh, search for the zip code. Now, this is uh, the zip code for the US, but you can put your own 
pin code that we say in india uh you can give your address complete address needs to be given properly over here after this you need to choose your gender date of birth and then the mobile number make sure you give your correct mobile number and it should start um as they say it should start with your plus nine one so enclose your international dialing code in the brackets so plus nine one should be there in the brackets right so uh or maybe it should not be in the form of plus it should be in this way so nine one should be those who are residing in india it will be nine one and then you need to give your number make sure it's correct because otherwise you will not be able to uh communicate with ifo although you can change it later on but make sure you give a correct mail id and a correct mobile number give the mail id which you haven't used for login any time before okay the moment you fill all these information you will have to click on the submit button the moment you click on the submit you will get a mail so they are kind of verifying your mail and the moment i click on submit this particular page i have this uh, pdf ready with me i will be linking it in the description box uh, so that you all can get the entire information so this link is basically the link through which i opened the portal and then filling all the information and clicking on submit will take me to this particular page i'll show you how this page will look like so yeah so this is how the page will look like the moment i click on the submit button over here this is how my page will look like my name will be displayed title and the arn so everything will be displayed like this then you can uh, select this membership and click on apply for membership this is for students who are creating a new account from scratch students who already had their arn and password with themselves and email id for them you all have to just click on that login part and there you had to put in your mail id and your password which you used before and click on login so it will again take you to this particular place itself right you don't have to fill in those details because you have already done that before now clicking on membership then it will ask you to apply for a student membership click on that click on the apply now button the moment you click on this uh, okay um i've been logged out actually so the moment you click on that apply for student membership this is what will open up it will ask you for few details over here which you need to fill up okay so first thing is employment details so if you are working employed self employed whatever then you need to put the organization details give the job title department all of these needs to be filled what is your employer type salary band everything needs to be given for those who are not working all the students will be clicking on this not working icon or uh, not working option and then click on this next page then it will ask you for your education and qualification now one thing over here if you are studying in your college if you are in your first year second year whatever then your year of graduation will be something after 2023 so there is no option over here year of graduation after 2023 so this here what you can do is you can state your school details so subject can be if you've taken commerce in your 11 and 12th standard if you've taken science whatever put it over here in the university name you can put your school name and then um if you are not able to find the university name over here you can just click on please tick this box give your university name if you are not able to find it over here which i don't think you might be always able to and then whatever year you have cleared your class 12th you can do that those who are graduate students for them you can give your college details if you have any post grad degree like an mba or whatever uh, or you have done some masters then you can put that past post graduate qualification subject university as well i assume that students who are in your college will not be having this obviously so you will not be able to give this so here you can put your school details and everything so the next thing is very important which is application for the reduced subscription um now this is only applicable to those students who who are not working who are dependent on their guardians and they have their annual income less than 8300 pounds 
right so you will have to click on yes i would like to apply for reduced rate those who are working and have an income of more than this will be clicking on no once you click on yes now it will ask you to fill in few details first is income threshold so you have to certify that yes your income is not more than 8300 pounds do you currently have any income so if you are working if you are doing any kind of internship if you are getting any stipend whatever and if you are getting any income which is less than 8300 then you can click on yes or you can click on no if you don't have any kind of income if you don't have any kind of income they will ask you who is the means of your financial support in that case you can include your parents your guardians whoever who is providing you for your education then you can maybe i'm writing parents over here so i can just put in parents the moment you do this the next thing they will ask you is the proof of the financial support so this proof is basically a proof from the side of your parents who will be certifying that yes they are the ones who are providing for your education in that case this is how it should look like this is how you your reduced rate proof should look like so your parents need to just type down a letter saying my son or daughter is currently a full time student and his or her income is zero he or she is financially dependent on me your name that is the student's name student's arn and then parents signature needs to be there this is not in the form of a digital signature make sure you uh, properly ask your parents to sign it and get a pdf scanned of this and you can upload it over here right so this is the proof of the financial support that you need to put in you need to also confirm that later on if you if the circumstances change and if you are not no longer within this particular bracket of reduced rate you will be notifying the same to ifoa so you have to click on this button the moment you do this and then you can click on the next page it will take you to the last page which is the member declaration uh in this member declaration uh you have to just quickly read through whatever terms and conditions are mentioned and then you can click on i agree to application applicants declaration and click on submit the moment i click on submit it will take me to the payment gateway now this payment gateway if you want to pay through credit card through whatever different bank transfer in case of a bank transfer you will need to upload a proof that of the bank transfer that you have made and everything needs to be done so since i clicked on a no for me the full student membership applies but for you guys when you will click on yes in the case of a reduced rate for you all the total price that will be coming in will be somewhere around 268 pounds um now here this is 310 pounds i will click on next and then i will be uh it will be redirected it will be showing all the details that you have filled if you are uh, ready to proceed ahead then just give your billing details click on next and then the moment you click on that it will take you to the payment gateway wherein you can pay through amex card through whatever different options are given to you the moment you pay it you pay the uh, amount the membership fees you will get a mail the mail will be a confirmation mail on your payment and then the moment you get the confirmation email from ifoa they will say that it will be processed in the next 2 to 3 weeks wherein they will be checking all your details and once they are satisfied they will be giving you the student membership so it's a very easy process it will not take you more than 30 minutes of time so please make sure that you do it before december uh end so that you can uh, get the membership before the registration opens up for the april 2024 attempt and you can appear for the exam you can register for the exam as a student member right so this is the entire process i will be attaching this pdf in the description box for those who, who uh, want to uh, go through it you can or download it from there and if you have any further questions you can put it down in the chat box or you can contact us uh, the details will be given to you in the description box thank you